I am back. This time I'm going to review Transformers the Game. Octopus Prime, Megatron on the cover again. Activision, ready for everyone. Basically, this is the PSP version of the game. I like the side cover with the Autobot symbol and the Decepticon symbol again. Protect, destroy. Play beyond the Blockbuster movie and control the epic battle between the Autobots and the Decepticons. Transforms anytime, any place. Fully interactive and destructive environments. Fly, drive, fight, and shoot through with 20, over 20 playable Transformers. Only on PSP. Um, customize the weapons of your, weaponry of your favorite Transformers. Battle head-to-head -head with local Wi-Fi multiplayer modes. Barricade and Bumblebee fighting off again. There's the disc. It's a really cool disc as well. And there's the booklet with Optimus Prime and Megatron on the cover. One of my favorite game covers ever. And if y'all, I'm thinking about making a video with uh, my favorite game covers on the video games I collected. Uh, if y'all like me to do that, just comment below. But anyway, this is a bigger picture of Bumblebee fighting Barricade. And word of advice, this game has some exclusive characters that you can play only on this mode on both the Autobot and the Decepticon size. For the Decepticons, you get to play a Shockwave, who turns into a tank. And also, you get to play as Hound, one of my favorite Transformers of all time, in this game as well, for the Autobots. And there's a big difference on the on the, both any version of the of the Transformers the game. Basically, the main difference is you don't get to pick what side you want to play as. You basically are playing like for first few levels you're going to be playing as Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. Then you're going to jump on and play as Blackout. Then 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 Shockwave, who alongside has Thundercracker on his side. Main characters you're gonna be you're gonna be playing with is basically Hound, Shockwave, Starscream, Barricade, Blackout, Bumblebee, Ironhide, and Optimus Prime. You don't get to play as Megatron, even though he is in the game. He's basically the last boss that you're gonna be playing as. And there's the game has a lot of twists and turns in this in this version as well. It was what I really like. And this game only took me two days to beat. So it's basically not that long of a game to complete. But you can go back and unlock some hidden extras. But you get to unlock the music that was available for the game. Which is really impressive. And you get to p play with... And you get to see exclusive pictures. Like from comic books and then video game as well. The graphics are pretty good for a PSP version. However, the Transformers themselves could been done a lot better but they they look still look good they still look impressive the sound is very good with some with some great voice acting as well it's, there's a lot more voice acting in this game as well and the controls are really good as well so is the gameplay is really fun it's just sometimes it takes you a while to get used to the game so but overall, I do recommend getting the PSP version of Transformers, the game. It's really, really just like the PS2 version as well. Except that you play with a lot more characters. And this game is really more than meets the eye. So I give Transformers the game for the PSP. I'm going to give it a, a 9 out of 10. Really a fun game. It's worth checking out. Thank you for watching my review and take care.